Okay, Mini Cooper, the front lower control arm rear bushes, these ones here, need to replace them. Um, there's one bolt there, uh, we might have to take the whole arm off, we're just going to see how we go. But this bolt on this side comes down this way, easier to see on this side, but you can't get it up because of the floor which means this subframe needs to come down so uh, we're just going to start tackling this we're going to get these plates off uh, get the, this back end drop down see how far down it comes and then we may need to um, undo our steering rack as well but we are just going to take a bit by bit and see how much needs to be undone and hopefully we don't have to drop the whole subframe out but we're going to find out Okay, so um, we've got the back of this drop down now. We have undone the pinch bolt for the steering and pulled that off. Make sure you're steering straight ahead so you know where to put it back on and you don't move the steering wheel in between. Okay, so that's just flat sided so it can only go in one position on each rotation. Just make sure nothing rotates. Got these ones at the back undone, bushes undone, um, and bolts up here undone. We have undone the front ones just to allow a bit more movement, uh, but you don't get much out of those. And just undone that bolt out of the mount there, and just undone the sway bar links so that they don't hold anything up. Um, so what's holding it now really is all the hoses and stuff. Uh, make sure this plug here that you undo as well, so you're not straining that. Okay, um, but now with it down this far we can get these undone. You can access this back one through the side as well. Okay, quite easily through there. Um, so we've got that front one out already, and now this one should come out. That's all done. Come on. So you just got to watch working around here too. These metal covers are really sharp. Well, you don't cut your hands on those. This one is just about out. I do cut myself on it. Cool, um, so now with that out, that bush will move enough to let you get that bolt out. And then um, we've already got our bottom ball joints undone. And we are just going to undo this one now and drop that arm off. Cool, um, so with these and the pull joints are all tape locked, so with them loosened off, you need to smack them on the side with the hammer. This one you can't get right at the side, but if you smack it about here, it'll be enough shock to release that. Cool, so you can see that cocks over a bit more now, and we'll be able to pull that boot out and just slide this arm out this way. Um, so first thing we need to do, because this is in the way for pressing, um, so we're basically just going to try and at least rip that outer housing off just by pressing the center with the outer housing hot held. Okay, so this is our setup for this one clamp. We're just going to press. Down here. And if it doesn't come out with the press, you'd have to cut that with an angle grinder to release it off the shaft. Um, and you also just want to mark the orientation of this before you press it right out. Um, so we can line that up against the old bush and just make sure we get it in the right place when we put the new bush on. Cool, so then our mark we have transferred over to our new bush before we press this out. So I have a mark on the housing. It's going to line up with that bush 
and I put that back in, and that's to make sure that that orientation is right. Cool, um, so now we're going to press the outer of the bush out of Okay, so here's our new bush ready to go in, so we've got our mark here lined up with where the old one was. Um, just being mindful when you press this in, you're going to need to protrude through the other end a short way, um, so that it's even on both sides. Um, so just allow for that when you're setting this up in the press, allow for that space underneath. Okay, um, so we're going to set it back on top of this bearing shell just for that space. Cool, and then we're going to push back on here, make sure you get this orientation right. So the longer bit goes towards the arm. Okay, and you've got your mark there to get the other part of it right. Um, and then this flange here is what you're going to hold on. You need something thin enough for this part to come past. Put a silicon spray on the rubber just to help it slide on. And then you're going to press that on. Okay, so now that arm is ready to go back in, um, and it's just reassembly from that point, but we're going to do the other side first. But that is how you replace front lower control arm rear bushes on a Mini Cooper S. This is an R50. Okay, I hope that has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from Real Mechanics.